Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Droid 2. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Droid 2 procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root procedure. There's a link right there. Uh, if you haven't, click on that, follow that procedure. Once you're done there, then you can come back to this one and we can continue. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the custom recovery image working. Uh, we do that with a program called Bootstrap. So you're going to download that program by clicking on the link here, save it to your computer. Okay, now we're going to plug the phone in via USB. Then we're going to pull this down. And USB connection, we're going to change it to USB mass storage and click OK. This way we can transfer files. Okay, now we're going to take that APK file we just downloaded and we're going to copy it over to the root of our SD card. That means on the SD card itself, not inside any folders. So you'll see a removable disk and then the file itself. Okay, so now we're going to unplug our phone. Then we're going to open the market. And then we're going to search for Linda. And we're going to grab the Linda file manager, the free one. Click install. Okay. And wait for that to install. Okay, once it's done installing, we're going to open it, click on SD card, we're going to look for our bootstrap APK, it's going to ask us if things are blocked, you're going to check unknown sources are okay, get back, click on it again, click install. And wait for it to finish installing. Okay, once it's done installing, we're going to open it. And then we're going to click Bootstrap Recovery. You should probably ask for super user permission. Make sure Remember is checked and hit Allow. Wait for it to say Success. Okay, once you've done that, back on your computer, you're going to decide what ROM you want. So you can click on our ROM section here. It'll open in a new window. And have all your ROMs for your phone. Then you're going to click on the link for the ROM that you want. It'll open another new window for the developers page. And you'll have to just scroll down and look for their download link. So we have one here. Click that to download it and save it to your computer. Get it back on the phone. You can hit home to get out of the Bootstrap app. And then you're gonna plug your phone in by USB cable. Pull down the notification. We're gonna select USB connection, mass storage, so we can transfer files to it. Okay, now you're going to take the ROM zip file, leave it zipped, do not unzip it, and we're just going to drag it to our phone's SD card. Make sure you put it on the SD card itself, not in any of the folders on the SD card. So this way the path is the ROM.zip inside a removable disk. Okay, once the ROM transfers, you want to unplug your phone. And now you're going to open that bootstrap program again. We're going to hit Reboot Recovery, and the phone will reboot into recovery mode. Okay, eventually the custom recovery image will pop up. It'll say Clockwork Mod at the bottom and have a bunch of options at the top. Um, you're going to be using the arrows here, up and down, to select, uh, push Enter, and then to go back, you can push Delete. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, which is something you should do every time you load a ROM, is perform a backup. So we're going to scroll down to Backup and Restore, hit Enter. Then hit back up and wait for it to finish backing up. Okay, once the backup's done, it'll bring you back to the main menu. If you ever want to restore a backup, like something went wrong, you just scroll down to backup and restore again and select restore instead of backup this time. Okay, now we're going to go to mount and storage and select mount system. Then hit delete to go back to the main menu. Okay, next we're going to do install zip from SD. Enter. Going to scroll down to toggle signature verification. And 
do it again until it says signature check disabled. We want to just make sure that it says disabled down there. Then we're going to hit choose zip from SD. Scroll down to our ROM. Hit enter. Scroll down to yes. Hit enter again. And wait for it to finish installing. Eventually it'll say install from SD card complete. Then you can hit back and then enter on reboot system now. Phone will now reboot into the new custom ROM. Once it's done, you should be on your new custom ROM. Enjoy.